Hello again. Welcome back to the channel. Hit that subscribe button if you have not. It costs nothing and yet it helps out immensely. I have something a little bit different today than I usually do. There is 70 cards here to celebrate 70 years of tops. I know technically that was last year and technically there's 71 cards for 71 years of tops, but uh, this is, has a better ring to it. It's a nice round number. All right, let us get into it. It's a little uh, trading card history tour, if you will. So we start things out. First year, tiny cards. There was red backs and there were blue backs. No stats or anything, but there is your first year. And then this is the iconic uh, Mickey Mantle rookie year. Uh, as you can tell, by the way, some of these older cards are in absolutely terrible condition. If they got graded, they get graded as a one. Sometimes I wonder if it's possible to get graded as a, as a zero. <laughs> but um, yeah, basically, and most of these are not going to be well-known names either because that would be super filthy expensive and I am not rich or even close. Anyway, but here's an Irv Noren. And as you can see, the corners are just terrible. That's okay. I didn't do this for the value. I just did it for the novelty. Harry Dorish here. Again, the corners are rounded, are completely rounded, but it is an original. I have a Mike McCormick. Staterouskis. Stattoberfest. This might be the worst condition of any of the cards. Harry Prakowski. Look at that Cubs logo right there. Next up, we have a Jim Finnegan. That one, actually, that's in pretty bad condition, too. <laughs> that's okay. Bob Boyd. I'm just showing off the designs of everything. Andy Carey for the Yankees. Have a Willie Jones with the Philadelphia Phillies. Now, you might recognize a number of these designs. If you collect archives or heritage, archives or heritage at all, or if you collect vintage cards, um, you've seen a lot of these designs because Topps likes to reuse certain designs a lot more than others. Um, some of the designs seem to get completely lost to history. Bill Mazeroski there. There you go, Mike McCormick. Got a Bill Burden. You don't see a lot of uh, modern day pictures wearing glasses as they pitch anymore. Most of them have contact lenses. There was the goggle era for a while in the 80s. Here's a Joe Cunningham for the White Sox. You'd almost think that, this, that the corners were meant to be round on some of these cards, but they were not. Russ Nixon with the Red Sox. Ken Berry there. Lots of socks. Red socks, white socks. Jim Landis. It'll Landis on the right field porch, man. Okay. Uh, Lee May with the Indian. It's a 1968. Here we are to 1969. So something's going to change in this, open, in this uh, display. From now on, all the cards are going to be Expos slash Nationals because I also wanted to do one card from every year of the Expos existence because I am an Expos slash Nationals fan. Um, <clears throat> but here you go. First year of the Expos existence, 1969. They didn't even have a logo on that cap. 1970. Larry Jaster. There's that traditional Expos logo. 71, Dan McGinn. Uh, 72, Boots Day. It's like night and day when he comes up to the plate. All right, got a 73, Boots Day again. 
Looks like he might be caught in a rundown, possibly. Got a 74, Mike Jorgensen. 75, which is one of my favorite designs. Tim Foley, sporting the glasses. Seventy-six coming your way. Another Tim Foley. That's like spring training. There's a Morales there. Bill Atkinson with your 1978. Seventy-nine. Steve Rogers. Not that Steve Rogers. Not that one. Uh, Chris Spire. He aspires to hit dingers. All right, we got an Andre Dawson Hall of Famer here. 1981. 1982. Larry Parrish. You might be wondering why some of these are top loaded and some of them are not. That's how they got sent to me. So um, I just kind of, if they were top loaded anyway, I left them in the top loader. A lot of these should become familiar to you probably, depending on how old you are. 83 here. Spire, 84, 85, I've always liked that design too, there's a Dawson again, 86, fun fact, or it's fun to me, maybe not to you, uh, Mitch Webster was my favorite player growing up, and then when he retired, which was the early 90s, Vlad Guerrero became my uh, favorite player. 1987, which Tops has reused this design, I don't know, 100 times since then? 88? I don't know how much, I don't think they ever use the uh, 88 design very much. They, they almost never do, for some reason, anyway. 89, also the iconic uh, Griffey rookie year, they've used this design a ton, too. 89. 1990, I've always liked 1990's design. 91. 92. I've also been a fan of the 92 design. 93. Larry Walker, who's in the Hall of Fame. 93. The year of the Jeter draft pick card. 94. This is when I stopped collecting. And I, uh, well, I stopped collecting at the end of 93. So I never had any of these. Um, 94. Here's your 95. Look how big that, that lettering is. 96, early tops chrome. Early tops chrome here. Moises Alou. Look at that. You may or may not have known that tops chrome went back that far. But boom, here we go, 96. 9 to 7 coming your way now. You can see I paid a pretty penny for that one. <laughs> uh, 98, here's tops chrome. 99, Vlad Guerrero, senior in the Hall of Fame. 2000, two thousand and one. With some of these these sets, I tried to get a Vlad Guerrero if I could. I might as well, you know. Two thousand and two. 2003 design. This is one of the most bricked sets. 2002 and 2003, by the way. If you ever find some of those older packs, these are two of the most brick sets I've ever found. The cards, whatever cardstock they used was not good and it peeled off. It peels off, so it's, it's hard to get a good condition card now. So here's 2004. I hate that silver lettering. It makes it really hard to read. 2005. That was the year they started making their way over to the Nationals. 2006, Zimmerman rookie. 2007. I always like the 2008 design too. 2008. 
2010, the year of the Strasburg rookie and the Buster Posey rookie. 2011, when they had all those wacky um, diamond anniversary parallels. 2012, the year of the Bryce Harper rookie. Here's a chrome version of the Zimmerman, though. 2013. 2014. Look at that wildly missed cut card. 2015. Kind of like fingerprint design there. 2016. That's an underrated design, 2016. I've also always liked the 2017 design here. Jason proving his worth. 2018. Two thousand and nineteen. Twenty twenty hindsight is twenty twenty. Twenty twenty one. And then the bonus for this year. Poor poor Nationals fans like me. Juan Soto got traded. So that's a sad way to end. But there you go. There's a seventy one card stack to leave for seventy one years. Oh chops. Plus uh every a card for every year of the Expo slash Nationals existence. Thanks for coming on this tour with me. Take care. Hit that subscribe button. And have a great day. Bye.